What is going on everyone? Hope you're all doing well. Today I'm going to be showing you how to get the secret ray tracing settings working on the recently released Stray, which has been met with rave reviews, but the game doesn't have any ray tracing uh, on the game by default as it's running in DirectX 11, and you can actually get ray tracing to work by simply forcing DirectX 12 with a launch parameter. So pretty interesting that you can get that there. It's got ray trace shadows, ambient occlusion, as well as reflections with, spoiler alert, absolutely brutal results in terms of how it will affect your frame rate. But it's still cool that we can go ahead and do this thanks to Reddit member Speedtree who came across this. So let's get into it. But first, today's video is brought to you by PrimeTechMart.com, where you can save money on software like Windows 10 Pro licenses for under $25. They've also got Windows 10 Home for under $20, and now Windows 11 Pro you can grab over on PrimeTechMart.com. They've also got Office 2019 and the new Office 2021. And if you want to save an additional 20% at checkout on Windows 10 or any other software, go ahead and click buy it now. And during the checkout process, go ahead and put JP20 in and apply that coupon and that'll give you 20% off of any software that you happen to pick up over there. So for Windows 10 Pro, you can see it dropped our price down from $24.46 to under $20. So be sure to hit up the links down in the description below and don't forget to use my coupon code JP20 at checkout for an additional 20% off. Now first I wanna show you how to get this up and running and then I'll do some side-by-side -side stuff and show you what the performance is like, although you may have already seen there at the beginning of the video uh, where I was running at 50% resolution scale at 4K because as I said, very, very taxing. Uh, to enable the ray tracing. So either you're going to be doing this on Steam or on a local desktop version of the game, but essentially it's going to more or less be the same process, just kind of different how you have to do it. So I'll start off with the desktop version as that's how I'm running it. If you just come to your desktop icon shortcut for Stray, you would just right click on that and then go into properties. And then you're going to want to come into the target path here, put a space at the end after .exe, and then you're going to put in hyphen DX12. And that's really it. You're just going to go ahead and then apply that or hit OK. And it will ask you for administrator privileges to do that. Just go ahead and hit continue and then launch Stray as you normally would, except this time it'll be DirectX 12. And all of those ray tracing effects will be on by default. They don't show up in the graphics options menu or anything like that, but they are on. It's not a placebo effect, as I'll show you in a minute. It's absolutely real ray tracing uh, in the game. And you can kind of tell by the frame rate. Uh, as well. Now, if you are running the Steam version of the game, which I do not have on here, but it would be the same process either way, uh, but let's pretend that this is Stray right here for Euro Truck Simulator 2. Again, you would just right click on that, go to properties, and then you're going to want to go down here to where it says launch options, and you would put hyphen DX12 in there. As you can see, I already did that. Uh, so yeah, you would just do hyphen DX12, and then you would just close out this window and there won't be any administrator privileges you have to think of do for a Steam version of the game. It'll just be on. And then you go ahead and launch the game normally through Steam like you would and DirectX 12 and ray tracing effects will be on. So like I said, this is going to be super taxing on the game. And unfortunately, with the case of Stray, like most ray tracing games, um, this one does not have any upscaling like DLSS or AMD FSR 2.0 or even 1.0. So you're not going to have sort of anything there to really help you with getting better performance. You can go into the graphics options menu and you could lower your resolution. Um, like I'm playing at 4K, you could drop it down to 1440p or 1080p. And that's definitely going to help a lot. Or you can use the resolution scale option in here, which I was able to get the game fairly playable at around 50 to 70 frames per second by putting that to 50% resolution scale, which again is obviously it's not a perfect solution uh, to getting the game playable with ray tracing, but hey, at least it works. And the ray tracing does look pretty darn good, as you can see, um, versus DX11, DX12. It, the DX11 version is honestly already good enough. It has very good screen space reflections, and that's probably the way most people are going to end up playing this game until such a time as the developers maybe add in DLSS and FSR and maybe add in a toggleable DX12 option and ray tracing option so that you can adjust them low, medium, high, or maybe turn off the shadows and ambient occlusion but keep the reflections. And those are just things that we can't do right now with this simple implementation, sort of like a hack, to get these things working that were obviously built into the game by the developers 
but have since not been turned on by them officially. But I have to imagine if they put them in there, eventually at some point these options are probably going to get a patch or an update um, from the developers and uh, get them working officially. But until such time, you can go ahead and do it now with uh, this guide. So hopefully this helped you out if you want to try it out. Uh, let me know down in the comments below how it goes for you. As I said, I went from getting like 90 to 100 frames per second, and it dropped me down to like sub 20 FPS. It was pretty unplayable at native 4K without adjusting the resolution scale. But it's, it's still kind of cool that we can get these things working, and it'll definitely help out if you just want to get some really sweet screenshots and uh, make, make some wallpapers and get some cool images and stuff for Imgur. I don't know. But, yeah, at least it's there, so let me know what you think down in the comments below. Hope you guys all have a fantastic weekend, and I'll catch you tomorrow with another video. Peace.